Hey guys, Farmer Jesse here. I'm uh, out on my morning walk, daily routine to check out the farm with my crew here. They're camera shy, it's cool. I'm checking out a plot, I can't decide what to do with it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. It's like 6.30, let's talk about it. All right, so here's the deal with this plot. This plot, it was our sweet corn plot. You'll remember it from this picture. So this was sweet corn, and I don't plan on growing that much sweet corn next year. I just don't. It's, it's not a very profitable crop. I love sweet corn, but we just need a little bit for our CSA, and then, you know, I don't need to take up a whole 4,000 square foot plot of this. So each, this is all part of, I, I, I kind of talked about dry farming in a video before, and I'll put a link up to that. Um, this is all part of our dry farm. There are four 4,000 square foot plots, and this is going to get super nerdy, so you'll love it. Um, Basically, I have four crops on that rotation. It's sweet corn here. Over here was garlic. Now, it's not garlic now, but I'll explain that in a second. Um, potatoes, that's where the cover crop is, and then sweet potatoes. Now, that's a four crop rotation. They just swing around. So, in theory, it would be sweet corn here, then it would go here, then it would go here, and then it would go here. Um, but what's what's happening is that I don't really want to grow that much sweet corn because the seed is expensive. It takes cultivation. Uh, it, you get two ears per head if it grows well in a good season. The raccoon, I have the fattest raccoons, which is fine. I don't mind fat raccoons, but I don't need to fatten our raccoons any more than I already do in our compost piles and such. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to decide what to do with this plot. I have some options. So here they are. I can turn it back into pasture. This was pasture the last year. You can see that's pasture and all that's pasture. So this was pasture. I could just turn it back into pasture, but the pasture doesn't make us any money. It's not a very exciting prospect. Uh, the pasture just is more grass management for me. Sheep love it, which is great. Uh, this is only 4,000 square feet. It's not adding a lot of space pasture-wise. Um, so that's an option, but it's not a very fun option. Another option is that I could just choose a different crop to go in this rotation. So um, sweet potatoes could go here, and then they'd come here, and then something else would go here. Mm, now, what that something else is, I don't know. I, I could, I've thought about doing hemp. Uh, I have a buddy who's doing a lot of work in hemp and he's a chemist and he's doing some really interesting stuff with the um, cannabinoids and all, with, with the, the, what is, it's not THC, what is it called? Uh, so yeah, that's like an option because we can do that in Kentucky sort of, if I get the, if I go through the registration and all that. Um, so that's an option, that'd be kind of fun to have hemp in the rotation. It's a good dry farm crop, you know, you can do whatever. Um, you can irrigate it, but it would be a dry farm crop. I don't know, it's just a thought, it'd be kind of fun. The other thought I have, the one that I think is a little bit more exciting maybe, is actually uh, a seed crop like keep this bed here it's the furthest from our house i didn't mention that but this is the furthest from our house i live down here in the garden technically i live up there but that's where i feel like i live so this is the furthest from the house and that's not very <laughs> that makes me not want to do a whole lot with it i have to walk all the way down here it just takes up a lot of time so i thought about using this for a crop i didn't have to tend as much and not putting it in the rotation and it would actually be a seed crop a seed plot So I would do this for, maybe I'd run a round of tomatoes, maybe I'd do a round of okra seed, maybe I would do a round of, um, I could do lots of different stuff. I could do peppers out here, I could do cucurbits out here. So anyway, this would have one or two seed crops a year, but seed crops are crazy because they make your garden their seed. You're growing seed in your garden, which is like the last thing you want in your garden is a bunch of seed because seed becomes weeds, weeds become a problem, and then you just turn it back into pasture anyway because you don't have a choice. So yeah, that, that, those are kind of my options. That's what I'm weighing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I, I don't know, I can't decide. I can't decide what to do with this thing. It's 4,000 square feet. I could do a lot. I mean, and I don't have irrigation out here. Remember that. And I don't plan on putting irrigation, at least not this far. Maybe for these other three plots, but I don't know about this one. Maybe, maybe not. If I needed to, if I really had a good idea, I don't need another high rotation crop, at least not yet. So it would be something that would be a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, that may just bring in, I think I want each of these plots to bring in, I mean, f preferably no less than $5,000. So 4,000 square foot plot, $5,000 in a year preferably, you know? So that's my goal. Um, now let's talk about these other plots real quick. Wipe my lens off here. 
You should always do that with a t-shirt. Super, super good for your lenses. So with these plots, you know, this is sweet potatoes um, and a little bit of parsnip here, which is fun. Um, I'm going to turn all of these plots into a 30 inch bed system. So the garlic was actually in a 30 inch bed system before, but the potatoes and the sweet potatoes were not. Um, is that interesting? I don't know. I can't tell, but I'm going to keep talking. So 30 inch bed system, and I'm going to turn all of them into a 30 inch bed system so I can go to a completely no till system. Uh, with the, yes, with sweet potatoes and potatoes and garlic and uh, winter squash. After our garlic, cucurbits go in. So this is all our winter squash. So that rotation is actually garlic, winter squash, and then it'll be carrots, and then next year it'll be sweet potatoes. So it's kind of a crazy rotation. Um, actually, every plot gets multiple crops. That's how it works. That's how we make this affordable. So 30 inch bed system, and I'm gonna turn this one after this cover crop is done. Super spotty cover crop, really bang up job there, Farmer Jesse. Um, but basically what we're gonna do is turn all of that into 30 inch bed system where it wasn't before. It was in just like a row cropping system. Same with the sweet potatoes. And we're gonna leave this one in a 30 inch bed system which was the garlic and now winter squash um, and turn it all no-till. That'll be kind of an interesting experiment so we'll see how that goes. The reason I have it separated into, into these three, this three or four crop rotation and then the high rotation stuff is because one, that's irrigated, it's closer to our house, uh, and, it, and it requires a little bit more daily attention than these. These are more like you plant them, you cultivate them once or twice, and then you just kind of let them go and then you harvest them. Uh, I like having those things separate. Um, also, those are rockier plots. So growing things like potatoes and sweet potatoes and carrots, well, we grow carrots down there, but growing sweet potatoes and regular potatoes in that, it's just kind of difficult. Man, with the rocks, it's no fun. Rocks are like a total party pooper. That's part of it. That, I mean, that's just why I have those those separated. I, I kind of want that one plot out here, um, whatever the heck that was, corn, sweet corn. I want that to be something a little bit different. So, um, and I'm, I don't know, I'm just thinking about this now because I, I kind of need to decide if I'm gonna plant a winter crop in there. And I could, in theory, put a crop in there that's a seed crop over winter or a um, seed crop early on in the spring. So if I am gonna do the seed crop thing, I kinda wanna decide now. Everything in farming really has to be decided like m way in advance, which is great for somebody like me who's terrible at planning. We'll see, I don't know. That's kinda where my brain is. What do you guys think? Was that even interesting? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm out on my morning walk with my homies and uh, that's about it. So anyway, if you guys like this video, please like this video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Also hit the bobble. The bobble's gonna pop up with Hannah and my face on it. Make sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell too. There's a little bell that pops up. Um, and I'm gonna talk about no-till carrots this weekend. So look out for that. I think, I think that's gonna be the video. If it's not the video, then I totally just lied to you. All right guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Doot -doot -doot -doot.